What is one pedal driving? Should you use it? Are there benefits or downsides to this electric vehicle amenity? Let's hit the gas or the accelerator pedal on this episode of EV Basics. I'm Craig Cole, and in this series, we set out to answer the questions that, if you're new to EVs or simply considering one, keep you up at night. And if you've ever been trepidatious to hit the button in your car with the pedal icon on it, this is the video for you. Broadly known as one pedal driving, this feature, as the name suggests, allows you to pilot an electric vehicle without having to use both pedals. If you're careful, you only have to modulate the accelerator, you can completely avoid touching the brake pedal. Now, yes, you may have to hit the brakes in an emergency, but in normal use, you do not. So how does this work? Well, it's actually quite simple. When deactivated, which is usually by default, your car will coast and creep forward when neither the accelerator nor brake is engaged. This is exactly the same behavior as in a conventional vehicle with an idling engine. However, when one pedal is turned on, it provides aggressive regenerative braking. That is, when you lift your foot off the accelerator, the vehicle slows down quite forcefully. If you leave your foot off the pedal long enough, the vehicle will eventually roll to a stop and hold itself stationary until you depress the accelerator again. Now, the key to making this useful and enjoyable in everyday motoring is smooth and careful modulation. Since the regen is quite strong when one pedal is engaged, easing off the accelerator even just a little bit will cause the vehicle to slow down, which many people may not be accustomed to. You have to get a feel for how your car's powertrain responds to inputs. They all work pretty much the same way, but every make and model does feel a little bit different. While driving with one pedal turned on, I also find you have to keep a bit more pressure on the accelerator than you normally would, even if you're traveling at a steady speed. Again, this is because the vehicle slows down a lot more as you lift your foot, even if it's just a little bit. Now this feeling is difficult to describe, but it's very easy to understand once you experience it. You might also be wondering, do my brake lights turn on even though I'm not hitting the left pedal? And the answer is yes. When you lift off the accelerator, your tail lamps light up. Every EV handles this a little differently, however, and more on that in a bit. Next up, we'll talk about the advantages and potential downsides to one pedal driving. But first, a few words from Michelin, the sponsor of this episode of EV Basics. Eight out of 10 electric vehicle manufacturers choose Michelin tires for a reason. They're built EV ready, so you don't have to think about them. You can just enjoy the thrill of being on top or the excitement of coming down, spending time with someone special, or maybe spending time with someone brand new. Our tires are made without compromise, so you can enjoy every moment of your journey. To find the tire that's right for your EV or other vehicle, visit michelinman.com, hit the link in the description box below, or scan this convenient on-screen QR code. And of course, we thank Michelin for their support of EV Basics. But anyway, what are the benefits and downsides to using a one-pedal drive mode? First, once you get used to this feature, it makes driving easier because with care, you don't have to touch the brake pedal, so there's less footwork, and your vehicle will roll itself to a stop and hold itself stationary. Another benefit of this technology is potentially increased range. Again, I say potentially. EVs have regenerative braking, which takes the vehicle's kinetic energy and puts it back into the battery while slowing down, rather than wasting this energy by turning it into heat with the friction brakes. Turning one pedal on can help maximize regeneration, but Vehicles also regen with this feature off. Gently pressing the brake pedal, but not pushing so hard you engage the friction brakes, puts power back into the battery too. Now, could you leave one pedal off and hypermile your way to increased range by coasting brake free into intersections? Yes. Would that make you an annoying fellow motorist to contend with? <laughs> also yes. One pedal driving just makes it easier to maximize regeneration. 
Now, are there any downsides to this? Well, actually, yes. It can be a challenge getting used to one pedal driving. At first, it feels very unnatural not using the brakes at all. One pedal driving is something of a controversial feature. Like candy corn, some folks love it and others hate it. I happen to love it. Uh, one pedal driving, that is, not candy corn, because that stuff is nasty. Additionally, some drivers like to be extra cognizant of when they're braking and lighting up their taillights as a signal to other motorists. Those red lights on your rear tell the cars behind you that you're purposefully slowing down and that they should be prepared to do the same. With one pedal driving, you simply aren't in control of exactly when you send that signal. You might lightly lift up on the accelerator to modulate your speed, and in some EVs, your taillights will immediately turn on, perhaps sending a premature warning to the driver in your wake. In other vehicles, the opposite may be true, and it's possible the brake lights might not turn on when you expect they would. As I mentioned earlier, every automaker's implementation of one-pedal driving feels a little different, and how you engage this feature varies as well. Some OEMs simply have an on-off switch. Ford does this with the F-150 Lightning and Mach-E, for instance. There's just a setting in the infotainment system. Hyundai, Kia, and Genesis EVs, in comparison, have steering wheel mounted paddles that allow you to adjust how aggressive the regenerative braking is and engage iPedal, their name for one pedal driving. Finally, GM took a different approach. Their EVs offer a one pedal mode, but many also have a regen on demand paddle, a little lever that sprouts out from the steering wheel. And you can pull on this paddle to engage the regenerative braking and just sort of think of it as a secondary brake pedal. Of course, not all EVs offer one pedal driving. Models like the Toyota BZ4X and Volkswagen ID4 lack this feature. However, they do provide functionality that delivers nearly the same experience. Both of these all electric SUVs have a more aggressive regenerative braking setting that you can select, and each one comes with a brake hold feature so you don't have to keep your foot on the pedal while stopped. Combined, these two features provide nearly the same benefits of a true one-pedal mode, though the vehicle will not roll itself to a stop. This is the main difference. And there you have it, folks, an overview of what one-pedal driving is, as well as some of the benefits and potential downsides. In general, this is a great feature to use, but not all drivers will like it, so give it a try and decide for yourself. Utilizing features like one pedal are among the ways to preserve your range while driving, but if you want to maximize the longevity of your EV's battery pack for the long term, a few simple tips and tricks can make a huge difference. Watch this episode of EV Basics right now to learn what you can start doing differently today.